Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome, one and all, to the super fucking cool D&D uh, &D comic book chat. I say D&D &D because you'll say, you'll say, say. All right, let's bring John up. Oh, hi, John. We're live. Hi. How's everybody doing in chats? So, um, in case everyone uh, is curious, the reason for this uh, stream today uh, is we recently were in a um, in a stream where basically a friend of ours is making a book uh, where she is having a bunch of different people's D&D uh, &D themed short stories. And in the stream, people came in and read their stories. And I was one of the people. I read my story. And people have been liking it. So since then, uh, John, a.k.a. Foo makes a lot in the chat, uh, and I have been having a lot of cool ideas. So we figured, hey, why not fucking stream our awesome, crazy, stupid ideas? Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. So let's jump over to that screen. Bam. Cool. So most of you guys will notice... Um, I've done comic book streams before, and now this is a brand new one with a brand new layout. Fancy. Yeah, I like that. It's a cool, like, city background and stuff. It's cool. I know. It's funny because I had this layout originally for a, um, I, ha I made up, like, a DM Academy. I did, like, one episode of it. Don't think I ever posted it to YouTube. So, like, it's just never happened. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll, just, uh, I'll remake this one. So, cool. Cool beans. All right. So, let's do a new, pro a new project. All right. So, this is a comic book. Ooh, all right. So this yeah. is this is gonna be pure tie, pure tie. Yeah. Me meanwhile, I'm still working on Great. my dude. Yes. There's, so I've, I've, I've changed a few things. But... <laughs> That's good. Still same. same I feel aspect. like uh, so I should probably get some backstory here. So um, let me flip back to the screen where I'm bigger because I'm a fucking narcissist. Bam. So uh, basically, John and I are in a game on Monday nights, the uh, Adventures of Galatea, basically, and um. The story I wrote for the collection of short stories is basically a story where there is a character who we've seen a few times, but like in the background, it's about him trying to find my main character. So we had this cool idea of like, well, what if all of our main characters like had kids later on and the kids joined together for some mission or something. So we've been kind of spitballing since then. So let's jump into making a fucking cool script. So before I do that, let me... Open this up. Let me open a Google Docs and make some fucking awesome, cool things. So let me go there. I'll jump back to their screen in a second, guys. I just want to make sure I get the right thing up first. Uh, I think it's my D&D folder. I don't know. Maybe. Who the fuck knows? I don't know anything. Ah! Oh, shit. It's in the wrong wrong profile. I have to go to my B. Oh, god damn it. I have to, damn it. I have to fucking sign in as this. God damn it. Google, you've betrayed me. Sign By the up. way, how's Katie? She's fine. She's actually at a concert right now. And I have to go get her in probably like a couple hours. So Interesting. It's kind of a change from yesterday. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, that's literally how quick her headaches go away. Like, she, she woke up and said, like, I'm fine. Yeah. So, okay. So, ba -ba 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 there we go. Okay. So, let me get rid of all. Actually, you know what I'm doing? Man? Just... Doesn't tell me what. Put all that ah. way at the bottom. Helm of Comprehending Languages. It doesn't say what type of helmet there we it go. is. Okay, cool. Are we looking up uh, magic items or something? Yeah, because with, with Artificer... Oh, that's uh, right. That's second, right. Second, fifth, tenth, fifteenth, twentieth, you get a wondrous item. Ooh. Uh, I originally had the Goggles of Reve or Goggles of Night, which give you dark vision, but as a half-elf, I don't need that. Ooh, how fancy. All right, so we got Merrick. So, <laughs> Merrick here is one. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so Katie's at a concert. I may have to go get her later on. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm like, so you have a ride, right? You have a ride? You have a ride? No, it's me. I have to go get her. It's a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> so, let's do this. Did I fuck it? What did I do? Why is it? God, motherfucker. Stop that. Hold on. There we go. Boom! Get the song going and started it all. Okay. So, um, 
For those curious, we are currently working on a, a couple ideas that could either be a one-shot or possibly a comic, so I'm kind of parlaying into both here. So, let's talk about the characters. First character is Marakir. Marakir is a... That's right, Marakir is the one. Marakir is a tiefling uh, disciple. You're probably wondering, uh, Chili, what's a disciple? I've never heard that in my player's handbook. Because you haven't. It was Ooh. made by our DM quads on DM's Guild. Look it up. Ah. Yes. So, Marakir is the character in the short story I read who basically is a tiefling disciple. And what a disciple is, it's a weird combination of, like, a cleric warlock, almost. So that's him. So Marakir is one character. Um... So, the other character that's going to be popping up is Zarn, my one character, and uh, one of the NPCs, Sonnet. Those two are going to get, well, basically, they're going to get married in-game very soon. He's already proposed to her. Um, so, they're definitely going to have a kid. So, let's... i got to find a way to figure, is it going to be boy or girl? I don't know. We need, alright, here's, alright, I'm going to take a bottle cap because I have a thousand because I'm a fucking drunk. So, alright, if it lands, label up boy. If it lands, empty part up girl. Oh, you still don't know what the kid's gonna be? It's do? a girl! Okay, it's a girl. Alright. Alright, so we have girl. So we have daughter. Spell it right, please. Thank you. Daughter. I, I was actually contemplating for my character to either go boy or girl. Okay, so here's the here's the plan that John and I were talking about before we started streaming. Um, as of right now, Zarn is a cleric fighter uh, hybrid. And then Sonnet, her mother is a city guard, so I'm assuming she's probably... Oh, there's the rhinos. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming she's probably also a fighter. So my idea was the daughter... Okay. Oh, excuse me, I burped. Uh, the daughter of the two of them could end up being a gunslinger because I feel like it'd be cool, like, her parents are these awesome, like, up-close fighters and clerics, like, beating the shit at people, and she's like, no, no, thank you, don't want to do that. Like, she's, like, kind of... Not, not scrawny, but, like... She's more agile than her parents are. So she's definitely going to be a gunslinger. Now, I just need a cool fucking name for her. Also, I've, I've changed it. I, I I was tossing around the idea of it being a boy or girl, so I said, screw it, and I let fate decide. I, I rolled a 1d2. One boy, two girl. I rolled a 2, so it's a girl. Hey, we got another girl! Awesome. But, and I'm going to keep the original name I had because I feel like it can be both male or female. Uh, right, so, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. However, so is that R R Y? We're going R Y. Yeah. Yeah. -Y. Yeah, we are. However, the middle the middle name is going to be changed because I had his I had the original middle name was Garrick's father, okay. but doesn't really fit for a girl. It could, but okay. So we're going half elf artificer. Yep. Well, half, it's half elf, artificer, monk. I took away the wizard aspect because of the way I'm altering the way the All character. Right. I, it, like, you remember how I told you originally how it worked with the belt and the coin and stuff? Yes. That's gonna change because I boosted, I boosted them from level uh, three artificer to level six artificer. So they're level ten right now, and at level six you get the construct so i'm going the walking armor and then put the armor on gotcha female characters race let's just say human why not um okay so what i'm doing is I'm, I'm going to a couple different um i'm going to uh name generators because i want to come up with something cool uh she's a commoner famous uh, for generate name Oh, that's actually not bad. Spiders. All right, the first one that came up was Chrysella. I don't hate that. I'm going to write that down for right now. I'm going to look up a couple other ones, just in case. So we've got one. Uh... All right, so let's do that. Let's go to this. Okay, Um. so she's close... God, I really do not like this name generator sometimes. Um, which one are you using? I just go to a bunch of random ones. Right now, I'm on, I'm on fantasynamegenerators.com, which usually fucking yeah, sucks. That's, so that's bad. the one I use. Um, if you're looking human, 
it's difficult because they throw a lot of random ones in there. Yeah. Let me, th let me throw it. Like, it, if you want, like, a human name, um, they have those in that generator. They just have, like, two or three slots that are for, like, those type of, like, normal human names. And you just have to keep clicking through them. Fair enough. Anybody in the chat got any ideas? Any suggestions for a uh, a girl's name for a half Genasi, half Tiefling? And yes, that's a real thing now. I just fucking decided that. Also, well, that's a question for you. Who are you going to have her take after? Oh, because... I think she, I think she's abs she's absolutely going to be a water Genasi, but she's gonna have her mom's horns and tail. Okay. So you have to think water genasi names. Water genasi names. Okay, let's look up. Water and you could maybe do what the tieflings do, um, where they just come up with like a name that kind of accents their personality. Hmm. So you could have the first name be a water genasi name, and maybe the middle name be like courage. That is. That is true. Tiefling named Courage, but that's, you know, I'm saying, like, you know, because actually, oh, quads is sneaky. What? Sonnet. What is a sonnet? It's a poem. Is she a fucking bard? Is she a fucking bard? I'm just saying. Where is he? Answer me. I'm sending him another message on, tw on uh, Discord. Answer me. I, I am just saying. Is she a goddamn bard? <laughs> Tieflings tend to... They tend to have two names. Um, they tend to have a name they're given at birth, but at, as they gradually become adults, they give themselves a new name, or they are given a name <laughs> based on things they've done. I know, so, I, just, I just sent him a message on Discord in all caps, said, Answer me, is she a goddamn bard? Sonnet as in song? Goddamn. God damn Sonic Paul of Song, yeah. God, so, I mean, God it's damn. entirely possible. If he wasn't thinking that and just created a name off the top of his head, maybe he'll let you roll with it. You son of a Make bitch. her a bard. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, she could be a bard, too. That'd be good. A bard fighter? Bar barbarian! She's a barbarian! <laughs> I mean, um, she could be. She could be. Okay, so I'll put Gunslinger in parentheses. I'll put Barbarian. I'm in all caps again. God damn it. Barbarian. <laughs> I like the amount of time my keyboard is in caps is ridiculous because I'm always yelling things at people. Also, just so you know, there's no E at the end of Rosenlore. Oh my god, literally shut up. <laughs> it's still spelled it wrong, okay? It was kind of hard to see because the text is very small. Oh my god, I have such a good idea. Okay, so. There we go. Bam. Uh, should I, yeah, should I zoom in maybe? Let me, let me uh, yeah, well, I will zoom in. Like I, like, I had to lean really far in to read it. Zoom in! Unless well, too far, too far. <laughs> too close. A little too close. A little too close. Okay, there we go. So, we have... Oh, God, okay, it's too close. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Hey. I zoomed, I, I got back out, so. Yeah, we're good. Her middle name is Patience, which is funny because she's not fucking patient. Perfect. I love it, yes. All right. So also, also uh, Ryder's middle name is Cecilia. Ooh, I actually know a lot of uh, people that have you have that name. C E C I L I A. You act like I don't know how to fucking spell Cecilia. Okay, I had an ex girlfriend I'm, whose middle name was look, Cecilia. So shut up. People can spell it differently. I could have said two L's or a Y in there somewhere. Well, I read your mind. I called it. You did. All right, so. Oh my God, Quads, answer me! Is she a bard? <laughs> oh my God! It's like the, did it's you mess with him on Discord or Twitter? Uh, on uh Discord. It's like the newest conspiracy. I feel, I feel like you'd have a better shot at really getting to him if you do it on Twitter. Okay, fine. I will. I will send him a message on Twitter right now. It's like my new conspiracy theory. It is not a bard. <laughs> Alright, so let me get, uh, get my messages. Where's the last thing I've sent him? Hold on. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. There we go. Alright, again, all caps. I must know. 
Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. I've been spamming you on Discord. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Is Sonnet a bard? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Sent. All caps. When in All doubt, caps. When in doubt, caps it out. Yeah. That's how we do things. All right, so. Now, we need some other characters. So, let's just say... Um, let, do, do you want to keep it specifically in the Galatea group? So, we can do, like, Breeze, Breeze Kid, and then Norin's Kid. Well, see, you'd also have to ask. Like That is true. Would, so, let's... let's, let's would, Norin, would Norin get married and or have a kid? Would Bree get married and or have a kid? That's true. He already responded! God damn it! I told you! Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. John and I had some ideas and were spitballing conspiracy theories. So she's not a bard. Well, he said that she has no levels as of right now. Gotcha. Alright, see? I knew it. it. says, if slash when I make them, she'll likely be a fighter or a ranger. Okay. If you want to stop. Bye. Alright, so. So then that makes sense. Alright, so my original one makes sense then. Okay. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm still going to leave Bard up there just because I think it'd be fucking hilarious if, like, Two fighters have this daughter who, like, all she wants to do is sing. <laughs> That'd be really fucking funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, it would. All right, so she's either, she's either a gunslinger or a bard. I'll leave that up there for either either one. Okay, so um, so we've got three characters so far. We got Marikir, Chrysella, and Ryder. Very lady heavy. Well, Marikir's a dude, so that works. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's uh, and we'll have two spots for let's say unknown for right now. Unknown. Unknown. Okay, so this is Halloween. Sorry, I'm listening to Jonathan Young again. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I blame you. All right, so scroll down. All right, so let's come up with a good plot for this. So, yeah, there we go. So, um, so Marikir is clearly um, Marikir is the leader of the group who, God damn it, spell group right. Who brings them together? Okay, so we've agreed that Marikir brings them together. We just have to figure out why he's going to want to bring them together. Because I'm assuming the so. Guardian. Okay, the so. The Guardian Initiative. <laughs> the Guardian Initiative. So, as we know of right now, so for those who don't, so for those in the chat or for those watching us on YouTube, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, we have our Monday night game in Galtea where our characters, we call themselves the Guardians of Galtea. So, there's got, this is going to take place years later. So, Marikir at the time of our current game is like five. So, Something like that. yeah, he's about five or six. Because we, we've met him in game. Um, so this will take place when he's about 30. It's about 25 years later. So whatever our characters have done now have, has already been figured out, solved and everything. So we got to find like a new crisis to kind of bring these kids together. Got to think about what it would be though. Damn. As a half elf rider is really just turning into an adult. <laughs> <laughs> half elves don't reach adulthood until 20. Okay. Uh, so crisis brings them together, but we're not sure exactly what crisis yet. Okay, so here's the thing. So obviously one thing is Marikir and Chrysella, I spell right? I just spelled it up. Yeah. Um, have been childhood friends. So I'm assuming Marikir's gonna be 30. I'm assuming Chrysella's gonna be like 25. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, for uh, their whole lives. Uh, so those, I think those two are the ones who are going to bring everyone together. So they 
look up the old oh god i just i just had the weirdest idea like the weirdest like picture in my head what narin marrying alana and garrick <laughs> oh god he he just wants to I mean, marry he just wants to marry someone we 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 know that yeah Okay, so I'm assuming um, Ryder will be in uh, Ravenhold, right? Yeah. Okay, so Ryder's in Ravenhold. So both of them are in friends of their whole lives in Corellandil. I spell it right. They will have. Can, they'll have right. met uh, Ryder probably quite a few times because I can guarantee they they probably all wanted to like get together you know, like come over to Ravenhold spend the week here and you know party and then whatever <laughs> party yeah that, that's I, how I'm just like it's just thinking off the top of my head one of those parties is how Crisella was born <laughs> perfect <laughs> no here you go Crisella's born after the after party of or like consummated, <laughs> Con at consummated. Garrick and Alana's wedding after yeah, after the part after the head. Right. That'd be really funny, actually. <laughs> because if you really like, if you really want to go that route, you could say that Ryder and Priscilla are born within days of each other. We go. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so Ryder, Ryder and Priscilla are born within days of each other. That'd be actually really funny. Like if if Garrick and Zar and me are like, oh my god, this is big news. Oh my god, me too. We go first. I had a kid. No way, I had a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can totally see it. You have, like you have Nord and Bree off to the corner going, Ugh. Like face palming. Then everybody's like, okay, we'll say on the same on the same count. One, two, three. And they both just say, I had a kid. It's like, oh my God. It's like, it's like, it's like what are you having? I'm having a girl. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> oh my God, me too. <laughs> oh my God. That's okay. If this gets made into a comic or one show, whatever, that scene is gonna be played out somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> oh my God, me too. <laughs> yep. God damn it. Okay, so, um, so we gotta find what's a what's a crisis that would bring them together. That's the thing. Hmm. Well, I'm see. I'm guessing by the time Zarn's done adventuring, by the time they get married and all of that stuff happens. I want to say the skull is dead. Yeah, probably. Because that's the end goal for for the for Galatea for our game. So I feel like if the skull was still alive, that would be huge because that would mean we had failed. That's true. Them as a group had failed. Mm. And Zarn would not have. Well, I don't know. Well, Zarn's already getting probably getting married anyway. So I mean, it just it depends on how Zarn's reaction would be, since he's all like, "I gotta kill the skull." That is true. So, the skull, you no, know, skull's dead. Um, so we can't. It, it's hard to make a crisis um, unless it has nothing to do with the skull. Well, I'm assuming it probably would have nothing to do with Skull, because I'm just... Okay. I mean, no matter what we do, this could always just be, like, an alternate universe thing from whatever the story plays out with. That's cur true. Currently. So, I think I think it's probably better just to, just to right now, classify it as an alternate universe thing. Only because, like, whatever happened... We don't know what the hell is going to happen in our game, obviously. So... Yeah. Let's make that this is an alternate universe where the Skull has been defeated, and now a new thing is popping up. So also, right, also I want to ask, since it might not crucial, but will have something to do with the story. Was Grace resurrected? Ooh. Okay, so let me put that on there. Resurrection of Grace. For those that don't know, Grace was a uh, a guest star um, on one of our a couple of our episodes where. Actually, Grace is the opening for this whole Skull storyline. Uh, yeah. She was with us. She was killed. And uh, my character, Zorn, who's a cleric, tried to bring her... By the way, hi, Andy. I'm sorry I've not mentioned, uh, not acknowledged you yet. Um, so... <laughs> uh, this is... This is... Blah, a lot going on. So... Yeah. 
she followed us. She died, and my my character, the uh, the cleric, tried to bring her back, and he was stopped by the skull. And that's the only reason why he knows the skull exists. So everything going on right now is basically whether he wants to admit it or not. It's his vendetta against the skull. So if she came back, that'd be really cool. Hmm. I mean, if we're really making this like alternate universe, then you can either just say she's back, or do as I want to say, pull a Ven and let the fates decide. That is true. Hmm. What about Skull's boss? Hmm. Well, right now, so the, in the in the game now, the Skull is the god of the uh, untimely death. So as far as yeah. we, as far, I mean, who knows? As far as we know, he's the highest you could be because he made himself a god. But yeah. he's essentially, fu he's essentially fucking Savitar. <laughs> fucking god, shut up, god damn it! <laughs> Fuck Savitar! <laughs> Fuck Savitar! Hmm. That's true. If you're alternate universing it, um, okay. So let's put this one of the options. So skulls, skulls, boss. Um. All right, so, so so right now the three I have, I have a possible war, the resurrection of Grace and all the things that brings about, and then maybe if the Skull had a boss, like a higher power besides him. Hmm. All right, shut up, John. Okay, I'm sorry. I like Jonathan Young. Speaking of which, do I, do I have a Jonathan Young command in my chat? I forget. Let me see. Damn it, that's what I did. Shit! I mean, you could also maybe say... The skull that they killed was not the skull itself, but more of a front. Oh... That's not bad. Sort of like a Wizard of Oz type thing. Pay no attention to the guy in the curtain. <laughs> so, that like, true. Oh, they dude. kill the skull, and years go by, nothing happens. Bam! And then the skull swarms start coming back. And it's the question of, how are they coming back? Who are they going after? You know, like, who are they who's in charge of them and then you find out that the skull is actually still alive Ooh. maybe maybe under a different name or something like that or going along the same lines maybe when we when our characters beat the skull it scattered him into the winds basically and the skull sworn at trying to bring him back oh kind of like um oh no i was gonna say kind of like uh metals Thing where all like the objects are put in to be put to rest, but instead it's like trying to piece back together the skull. Yeah, yeah, basically. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, so we got the all right. So we got a couple ideas, and we go. I'll leave that open in case we have more later on. All right. So I mean, uh, people in chat, what do you think? You got any uh, any ideas? What what could be a big enough crisis to bring back the children of the the basically the adventuring group that saved the world because we're saying they cool. fucking save the world because like the, the the thing i'm the thing i like we say it doesn't have to be the skull but i feel like bringing the kids together for the people who stopped the original skull like if we went with the whole like the skull was scattered thing like there's st like you know uh you know a piece of blank was taken from a museum or a lockdown that was part of the skull and it's been rumored that the skull sworn are slowly coming back together to Ooh. resurrect essentially the, the grinning skull and who better to go to than the kids of the people who got rid of it got of ah. the original skull yeah because by this wow. time i think currently in game zarn's about 32 so he'd be he'd be in his fifties. Yeah, he's not fucking going back out at least fifty. You serious? No. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Garrick would be pretty damn close to his fifties. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, the only one at that point that would probably still be able to go out and adventure would be Alana, because she's an elf. So for her being like one hundred fifty years old is 
fucking nothing. They look like they're like 30. So, and obviously Alana wouldn't because she, she gave that up. But I mean, like, and the other thought I had was after uh, Carter's wife and son died during childbirth, he gave that up. He's, he didn't want kids anymore. He didn't want to go through that anymore. Yeah. So that's why. So that's why instead of going after, find, you know, it's, instead of going to find Carter's. Uh, oh my child, god! I just had the greatest idea. Garrett's. Okay, so I like the idea. So, so basically, the skull's been scattered apart. Everyone thinks job well done. Merrick here is the one who's done research because obviously, like, while Zarn was fighting the skull, like Merrick here knew about the whole story, and he has been like kind of skeptical. Like, can a god really be fucking gone? And then all these things start going missing. He's like, guys, the skull is back. And everyone's like, no, no fucking way. The skull's gone. Like, even Zarn's like, the skull's dead. Like, relax. But he's the only... <laughs> no, like, he's the only one who thinks the skull is still there. So he's like, all right, these motherfuckers aren't going to fucking listen to me. So he grabs all the kids and has them come help him. Yes. Yeah, yes. that makes sense. No one believes Marakir that the skull has returned. God damn, can I ever spell believes right on my first goddamn try? All right. Uh, seeks out children. It, that of... is kind of a, it's 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 an interesting word, especially with like, I, you know, I before E, except after C. Oh and it's God. like, okay, it, like, I, E, E, I, I don't know. I hate that fucking rule so much. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, so Only I think. Only in fucking English. Okay, so let me, let me get rid of these ideas. So here we go. So that's the idea. The idea is, so it's the return of the soul, uh, Skull Sworn and possible resurrection. So, mysterious artifacts are going missing. Um, no one believes Merrick here that the Skull is, not has returned, is returning. Is returning. Okay, and he seeks... Oh, hey, Poe, what's up? Uh, he seeks out the kids of the original group to help him investigate the dis uh, disappearances. Nailed it. <laughs> Fuck, I spelled it wrong still. <laughs> Thought I had it. Damn it. Uh, yes. E A R A N C E S. It is a loot creature. I was also wearing it last night, and I'm gross because I have not changed. <laughs> How dare you? Shut up. All right, the shirt I wore the shirt I wore last night in the game, the first one, I wore that for like yeah. two days straight, and then I was like, I fucking stink. I had to take a shower during our break, so I don't want to hear it. I still can't understand how you took a shower so damn fast. Dude, ever since I got my hair cut, it takes like two minutes. Insane. Also correct, no guns in Galte. Okay. Again, I, I feel like you can still make this an AU where there are. So I'm just throwing that out there. I know, I'm just getting his permission. Okay. It's his baby. Universe. Okay. Oh, quads. Him and his soccer. Oh, he's in his watching soccer. Yeah, he's watching soccer. He loves soccer. I wish I was more into soccer, yeah, honestly. Does. I played soccer a hell of a lot as a kid. I think I played it from, like, <clears throat> kindergarten to sixth or seventh grade. I played it for one year, and I kept picking up the ball and tackling kids, so my mom made me play football. <laughs> Totally see that. That's little. That's little. Oh. <laughs> yep, pretty much what happened. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Like, and apparently, like, there was a. We went to our our uh, our memorial building, our our rec council building, and oh god. So uh, I was in the room. My mom's like, "Oh, should we play soccer again?" Like, and apparently, and I quote, I said, "I don't want to play stupid soccer." And I like sat down and refused to move until I did not have to play soccer again. So that was fun. <laughs> Not an uncommon reaction, actually. <laughs> I have seen many people say stuff like it. It's like, if I could play any sport, it would never be soccer. It's boring. And, da -da 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 -da. and I'm like, okay, so what do you want to play? I want to play football. It's like, okay. I play, I play, <laughs> Andy, that's really funny. I played for two practices, got kicked in the shin, tackled the kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, hi, wow. Mother Mike. What's up? How you doing, man? Hi, Boo Mike. 
It sounds like it sounds like you said boob Mike. Boob Mike. Boob Mike. <laughs> boob Mike. Oh my god, burbs. Burbly boobly boobly boobies. Just played softball and volleyball. Eh, not bad. I didn't just play soccer. Hey, Throughout man. my entire elementary, like <laughs> kindergarten to sixth grade, I played soccer, I played baseball, I played basketball and it wasn't until high school that I tried to play football but because I'm so big the only position they could have really given me is a lineman and I may look big I am not that strong like the very first time I we did a scrimmage I got down in a three-point stance was ready they said hut I took the step forward hands out ready to block I got knocked on my ass <laughs> I was gonna say, if you try to talk shit about linemen, I was gonna fucking dump you from my disc. No, I know I'm not. All linemen are fucking strong as hell. I was not strong as hell. I know. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> but yeah, I, I played I played baseball for years. I was mostly pitcher and first base, and I played a little bit of an outfield. But yeah, I played mostly pitcher and first base. All right, so right now I'm writing that. Um, so I said, Chrysilla is super smart and accidentally invents guns with her dad's arm. So imagine this could of like, Dad, is this is this something we could make? <laughs> and then he's like, Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Like, I want to <laughs> invent a smaller version of a trebuchet or catapult, but like combining the two. But you can't just like you know put in you know you can't take a bullet or like a little piece of metal and like put it in like a crossbow and shoot it. That doesn't make any sense because it just goes wild. We have to harness it so that it like shoots out really fast, you know? And then Zarn would be like, yeah, yeah, okay, I can see that. And then you create just like a barrel. And then you tried to put that on like a crossbow, but then it just keeps shooting the barrel off. So then you got to figure out a way to like connect the two together, you know? I know I'm just and then somehow you find gunpowder. I'm just imagining her reading up about like, cause, cause I mean like explosive shit, it definitely exists already. I'm assuming that. Yeah. So I'm assuming she's like, oh, what if like the like, if the powder is ex makes a like a, a crossbow bolt go quicker? It's like, no, nah, crossbow is too heavy. Like, what about a small thing? And I'm just imagining her walking up to her dad, like twelve year old Chrysilla, like, can we make this? And like dumbass <laughs> Zar and his four's like, yeah, fuck it, just don't tell your mom. Like, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's happening. Okay, uh, I'm gonna yeah. put in all caps. Sonnet is pissed when she finds <laughs> when she finds out they made a gun. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like it was magic, like like Crystal's like oh, this is cool. And, like actually shoots the ceiling. And Sonnet's like, what yeah. the fuck did you just make? <laughs> I, I I didn't think ahead. I'm sorry. I, I can see that. <laughs> like they're in the basement working out, and then it's like, oh yeah. And then you what? You pull this trigger, and, and then there's like a hole in the ceiling. And then Sonic just like looks down from the kitchen. What the hell did you just do? And you just see Chrysilla holding the gun, and they quickly put it behind the back. Nothing. <laughs> what the hell are you doing down there? Uh, <laughs> Zarn pokes his head in. This might be my fault. <laughs> 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 yes, I love it. I love it. All right, so. All right, so let's come up with uh, so do a couple a couple spaces down here. Let's make some. Uh, so what are the what are the artifacts that go missing, that would make Merrick here think that the skull is back? Um, so well, maybe maybe bone shards. Uh, well, I was thinking more along the lines of like. Yeah, that's, that's too literal. Have you have you seen Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know the Hand of Glory. Think so? The Hand of Glory in Harry Potter was an item that had a candle on it. And I don't know if it was always, like, it was just always on. But if you held the Hand of Glory, it would give light only to the bearer. So, like, what I was thinking of is these artifacts are actual, like, magical items that do things. And when they're brought together, they like and like through like necromancy and all this other bullshit, they it resurrects the grinning skull. Okay, all right. So let's let's make uh. So we have three. Let's make three. Three is always a good number. It's the magic number. All right, three artifacts that together will 
bring back the skull. So we have one, two, and three. So, what should these artifacts be? Let's see. Um, well, all I can think of is like, I don't know what the grinning skull looks like. Is there an actual picture of like, did Quads make up the Grinning Skull, or is this a thing in D&D lore? No, I'm pretty sure he made it up. If he would just stop watching soccer and come join us! <laughs> okay, God. he did not make up the Grinning Skull. <laughs> oh, he didn't? Oh, wait, I don't know. What, just Google There's Grinning a website. Skull? There's literally a website called thegrinningskull.com. All right, let's look it up. Let's say Grinning Skull. As soon as you're born, you die. All right. Uh, Grinning Skull Miniatures. Because I want to know what it looks like. A Cluckatrice. Is that, the, is that the, the name of a company? It might be, actually. Yeah, it might just be the name. It's of still D and D though. Yeah, that's no, why no. I was, I was surprised. <laughs> because if the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. Sorry. Because if it's literally just a skull and like nothing else then it would be difficult to come up with artifacts because I'm assuming yeah I'm assuming it's like the ooh okay so there's some sort of gem uh that is uh okay so there's a gem that at in it's actually the skulls one of the skulls eyes but everyone looks like oh it's this really fucking cool gem like no one besides Merrick here really knows it's his eye yeah so that could all right that could be one um did you want to do both eyes? Like, like second eye question mark? All right, so I'll put, yeah, put, I'll put second eye question mark? Um, because I don't really know what else there would be. I'm like, could he wear a crown? Ooh, what about this? What if there's like a dagger that the hilt is his tooth? There you go. Okay, so we got dagger. Uh, hilt is skulls tooth. Like, like, it's a regular dagger, but, like, when you, like, get it together, like, basically the dagger part of it would stab into the mouth, and the hilt is the tooth. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah! And then, I'm trying to think. I want it, like, I don't know if it wears a crown. I mean, it's fucking alternate universe, we can do whatever the fuck we want. I got that exact quote from Quads. Did he, re did he really say that? Yeah, he says, hey, I mean, it's AU. You can do whatever the hell you want, question mark. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Because if... Because we could have him have arms, you know, and then, like, the hand or something like that. <laughs> or, like, a bone. God damn it, Mike. Uh, <laughs> YOLO 420 oh. alternate universe. <laughs> YOLO! Ooh, okay, uh, if you don't mind it being another weapon... I'm what around. about a quarter staff made from the bone of the grinning skull? Ooh, bone staff! Bone staff! Bone staff! Bone saw is ready. Sorry, <laughs> had to do it. Had to do it. All right, cool. Yes. So we got three artifacts. We got a gem. That's the skull's eye. We have the bone staff, and we have the dagger. The staff. Okay, for, for reference, because I see you have Skull's Eye, Hilt, Skull's Tooth. The the idea I had for Green Skull, have you ever played Terraria? No, but I know of it. Okay, so like, yeah, the, the Skull, like, enemy that's a head and two arms. That's what I, that's what I think of when I think of the Grinning Skull. So like, the arm is like a feet, not a femur. Is it a femur? No. The femur's in the leg. What about this? What about the staff is made up of bone shards, and when they do the ritual, the staff explodes, and those bone shards reform into the actual skull? It could work. I mean, it could. I'll put that in the question. So, uh, skull's cranium? Question mark? 
cranium? Question mark. It's putting a, putting question marks on everything, so it's like what? Maybe. All right, so. So we have the three artifacts that w that should bring back the skull, and obviously when one of them goes missing, uh, that's when Merrick here starts getting fucking little Concernicus. Concernicus. L little Concernicus. All right, so um, let's say okay. Oh, perfect. Corellandil has that fucking museum. Okay, so um, yeah. so the skulls, I. Is in the Corella. Am I spelling Corella and Dill right? Two L's. Where? Right. Hang on. Let me look up Garrick's. Uh, I. Shit. That is not the one I want. That is description. I need his story and. Hold on. Let me pull up the uh, the map. Well, no. I, I give me like two seconds. I'm racing you. This file would open. It's a race. I'm gonna win. Uh, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna I already win. have it. I'm gonna win. Too late. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna win. See. Nope. <laughs> nope. No. No. Wrong map. Damn it. Galtea folder. Oh. Galtea map. Got it. I win. Got it. Found it. I, yep. I already I got posted it. it in chat. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, because I've already got it. So I signed. God damn it! I was signed out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Although that might be wrong. Continue. Son of a bitch. Sign out. Hold on, I guess. Oh my god. I don't think I actually saved a map. What I did. I did, I have it right now. There we go. Everything's fine. I fixed it. Everything is fine. Alright, so Skull's Eye is in the Corellandil Museum. And when it goes missing... Is that right, by the way? Oh, were you right? Is that how you spell it? I didn't. Oh, the, the leg bone thing. Oh, uh, that could be an idea. Hmm, interesting. And when it goes missing, uh, and nothing else is stolen, Merrick here gets suspicious. All right, so how about this? So the, the, the skull's eye is in the museum, and only that gets stolen. Like, nothing else is missing. And that's what makes him so suspicious. Yeah, that makes that. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good reason. Um, after going to <laughs> authorities and Zarn, no one believes him, so he recruits Chrysella and goes off to find uh, Ryder and I'll put in quotes the others in case we have others. I guess I should probably put that in uh, in the Galatea chat. What? Asking uh, Norin and Bree. Oh yeah, I would. Wow, you wrote Blood and Water that long ago? What? It was back in March. Oh yeah, I wrote that a while ago. I'm going through the Galatea text on the Discord. Making a story about our group's potential kids. Also, would your PCs have kids? Alright, sent! You are sure to I, I really, I, I really want to say that... Uh... Norrin's gonna chime in and be like, Norrin would definitely not have kids. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly, I don't know if, I don't know if Bree or Norrin would have kids, honestly. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Um, do you have a link? Session zero guide. By the way, for the map. Uh, yeah, I should. Hold on. 
Um, if you want to just like DM it to me, that would be great. Um, if not, I can always just log into the. God damn it! Hold on, I have to fuck. Oh, I'm not even there. This is so aggravating. I have to keep switching back and forth between accounts. <laughs> Shit! Alright, let me, let me share this with my other account, make it easier. There we go. Shared it. Ugh. Fuck. Sign out. Alright, sign in with this account. Well, they're playing D&D. &D. Go home, you fool. There we go. Bam! Alright, now I should be able to get to the map. Where is it? Uh, get shareable link. Right, copy that. So this, let me send it to you right now. There you go. Woot. Are you grotty? No problem. Oh, yes. I, I, yes. I completely agree, uh, Mike. Alright, yeah. So she's definitely going to be a gunslinger. Get rid of the bard thing. Oh, why do you say no? Download. Oh, my God. Why won't they answer? I don't like when I'm not answered immediately because I need attention at all times. I know. I'm not needy. I just want everyone to look at what I'm doing at all times. I feel like I'm being very reasonable. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, oh, yeah, oh, I got you. I'm going to say, Mike, I cannot imagine having to try and figure out, like, how to narrow everything down. So I shouldn't have it. Yeah, I, I was so excited to have, like, the, the stereotypical, like, anime or, like, any other type of show like that, just, like, episode where it's just hanging out and doing nothing. Like a shopping episode type thing. And it's like, oh, no, we're, we're, we're going to the water plane. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was we like... Meet, oh. we, we could possibly meet Carter's in-laws, and then on the way there we can meet Zarn's pirate friends... And it's gonna be great, and then it's like, nope, you're going to the water plane. I know, like the whole time oh, I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow those stones from Bree. Like Zarn's gonna go back and like propose in person. And it's like water plane. Like fuck. I want to let you know, you propose if Zarn proposed in person without Carter there, he would hit you. Why? Because he wants to be there. Well, I need to go. Someone's gotta stay back on the ship. Carter's not a freaking... He doesn't know how to drive a ship. <laughs> exactly, because he used the word drive for a ship. There you go. How do you? How does one drive a ship? You don't drive a ship! You, you can drive a ship. Driving doesn't automatically uh, go uh, to... A chat? Is it hashtag... Steering wheel? If you think you can drive a ship, hashtag, put hashtag I'm wrong in the chat. And if you think that no, you cannot drive a, uh, a ship, put hashtag Chili's always right. <laughs> I will await your answers uh, on bated breath. Oh my god. Alright, so we've got. I mean, hmm. steer? Yeah, you steer a ship. You pilot a I mean, ship. It, I mean, what's the difference between hold on, steering hold on. a ship and driving a car? Bam! Hashtag Captain Chili is always right. But you know, what? I'm, I'm gonna. Well, go you're also Mike. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go stick together. I'm gonna Google this all the, uh, on on front of everybody. So, can you drive a ship? I'm not gonna lie, that's what I posted. That's what I looked at. Can you drive a ship? 
you sail it. See? So if, you, if it's a sailing boat, you sail it. If you're a captain, you, sh uh, you skipper it. And if you're a helmsman, you steer it or helm it. Boom. Gonna be your money king. Got it. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard being right all the time. I just want to let you know there are other people that say the same thing I that I do. <laughs> I know. Because, <laughs> because, because, like, like I'm not trying to like create an argument or whatever, but like, too late. The difference between driving a car and piloting piloting a ship is the gas and the brake. Whatever. <laughs> I'm still right. Hashtag Captain Chili is always right. Because I feel like both would count. Uh, In my I, head, both count. I believe I'm still right, so I'm just going to take I'm that. not saying you're wrong. I know, because I'm never wrong. I'm just saying wrong. we're both right. Uh, no. There's no brake yeah. on a ship. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> there is no brake on a ship. Okay? Yeah, there I'm... is. No, there's not! It's called an anchor. There's not a brake! It's an anchor. Oh, my God. It's not you a brake. You can use that as a brake. It's not a brake. It's an anchor. You, know you, you know what? You know what? You know what? Google it. Google it. Is an anchor... A uh, break. Is an anchor a gay symbol? Jesus Christ. Google. Wow. God damn it, Google. Uh, yeah, I got that too. Nope. I don't see anything about it being a break. Let me see. What's this? Anchor windless? Appar apparently there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a place called Anchor Break Shoe, which is uh, in New York somewhere. So that's cool. Lock it up, Google. See? Bam. You've watched too many TV shows and movie shows. TV, uh, blah, words. I speak words. You've watched way too many TV and movie shows. Anchors are used to keep ships in place, not to break. Looks okay. like I'm right again. <laughs> yep, see that? If you drop well, the anchor, if the boat's going too see, fast, you'll rip the bow or tear it off the ship. I said it works as a break. It's not meant to be one, but it can be one. I'm just saying. It would slow down the boat. It would also break the boat, but it would still slow down the boat. Can I get a hashtag Captain Chili is always right in the chat, please? <laughs> Aren't you so glad that we're here, we're hanging out, John? <laughs> Look, we do tend to have the weirdest, like... We, we do, we do. We we tend to argue about just stupid shit that does not need to be argued yeah. about. Yeah. No, fuck you, an anchor's yeah. not a break. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. From there, so we got that. Um, I think we got a pretty good start. So far. I'm pretty proud of us. Let's see, what else? Should we do anything else before we, uh, before we call tonight? Oh, cause I want I want to keep this short, cause I have to go pick up Katie soon. You said a couple hours. It's only been like maybe an hour. I know, no, cause I got she, her. Hold on, where's what she say? Let me see. Cause she's she's at the concert for the Killers. God, shut up. You know I'm doing anything for you. There we go. Boom. She asked me to leave my phone near me, so I texted back that I'm leaving my phone as far away from me as possible. <laughs> because that's the kind of relationship that we have. Alright, so... Okay, so we still gotta figure out exactly who... So I feel like I do. I do want five characters, but I don't know. I want them to get back to me already. About they want if their characters would have kids. God damn it! Like this was this was cracks me up. Who who is offline of Discord? The way I think the way it works is, if you have the app, you're always technically online but if you don't use it for a specific amount of time it just says you're offline ah uh, fair enough and then and then tracy's always invisible so she could be online all the time and we wouldn't know it 
Snicket does the same thing. I guess that's true. It does make sense. Hmm. All right, so we got three. We have at least three characters. We have a pretty good idea of the plot so far. I saw <laughs> this part just fucking cracking me up. Dad, is this something we can make? Yeah, fuck it. Don't tell your mom. Sonic is pissed when they find out she made a gun. <laughs> that is pretty great. Just in like, all caps. I, I I really want this to get to like comic form because I just want to see the look on Sana's face. <laughs> just like just her looking through the hole. What the hell did you just do down there? Oh, uh, that's my bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, because like, like I said, the, the image I have in my head is the the gun goes off the hole and then and like, like you see her pull the trigger. The next shot is like a hole in the ceiling <laughs> with Sonnet looking down. Like you see like the top of her head she look, she's looking down into the hole where you see uh, Priscilla <laughs> holding the gun and then like in the next panel it's Sonnet asking what did you do and it's there's like a like a swish animation of her putting the gun behind her back <laughs> saying <laughs> nothing and then, the next, and then the next panel is literally the same panel except Zarn's head is there and he just says it might be my fault <laughs> just admittedly this might be my fault <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and then just goes back to Sonic just glaring. <laughs> ah, I wish I could draw. Alright. I mean, we know people who can draw. It's just the only way you would be able to, you know, get pictures and stuff like that would be, like, commissioning. And... I know. I kind of think it likes my idea, by the way. Which idea? <laughs> of Ryder. Is she tell tell her to come in and join. She's playing D D right now. Mistar uh Mistar is tonight. Oh, that's right. I I wish they kept streaming. Yeah, I know. They stopped uh I think they stopped after a while because it got hard to like do a session. Like they couldn't like uh get together for a session enough and then gotcha. they like took a small hiatus and by the time they came back they're just like, let's just play. That makes sense. So. Alrighty, so all right, so the skull's eyes in the Crondell Museum. When it goes missing, nothing else stolen. He gets suspicious. Okay, goes to find the others. So, um, Skull Sworn is back trying to gather up all the artifacts. Um, Jeff is the brain. So Merrick here is going to be the brains. Ryder is the... So who's... Who's the brawn? Who's the strong one? Well, see, it, that's hard to say. Actually, no. Well, are you talking between the two of our characters or all of the characters? I'm going to say, I'm saying Merrick here is the strong one. Chrysella is the smart one. What's what's, um, what's Ryder's thing? Well, Ryder's a monk artificer. Um, believe it or not, I rolled up stats for her <laughs> already because that's what I'm doing. I'm creating. <laughs> yeah, I'm essentially I'm creating as I uh, go along, and let's just say I rolled nothing lower than a twelve. Nice. I rolled three sixteens. 14, 12, and 13. Um, currently has... Uh, she's very dexterous and very intelligent. Strong is iffy. But she, she's the magic user, so... Okay, so... arcana E and stuff like that, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make, uh... So... Actually, this would make more sense. So, Chrysilla is the athletic one. Mer Ryder's both. Okay, so <laughs> so Chrysilla's athletic. Merrick here's the smart one because he's the one who knows, like, about the fucking skull. And then Ryder's the magic one. 
Wild card. Put I'll put in parentheses wild card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wild card. You, you didn't do you didn't do the motion though for magic. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Riders got the magic punchy punchy. Yes. All right. Which kind of when you do it makes it look like you're just boob jiggling. <laughs> Okay. See, I, God damn it! I wish they would just get back to me so I can know whether or not to make their characters or not. All right. So how about this? For right now, let's come up with two new characters, and if we need to, we can just replace them out. I was trying to think of like people we've met, like oh, like has has connections to um. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, I have a great idea. Okay. Um, okay, I, ha I have to come up with a better name for him, but... So, we've never met him yet, um, but Thunderfist is basically Zarn's Minotaur BFF. He's having a son that's going to be a fucking barbarian. Okay. Because um, I was also thinking of, like, who if we've met along the line... <laughs> uh, uh, actually, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that at all. <laughs> Worst dad jokes. Um, but um, like, I don't think they're married, but it would be interesting to see a child of Anto and his wife. I don't know, because I feel like Ant he hasn't really been that involved. Like, he's, he's like, I don't know. Because I know for a fact that Zarin is going to keep in touch with, with Thunderfist. Because especially right now, if Thunderfist yeah. actually, if Thunderfist wins over and becomes the head of the pirate fleet, that's going to be fucking awesome. I got to find a cool name. Let me, let me, Okay. Minotaur name. I mean, you really kind of want to, like, oh. What about Fury? Oh, fuck. I didn't even think of her. Because <laughs> I'm going through Garrick's list of people who, we've, who I've wrote down for notes. That would be really fucking funny, actually. Yeah. Alright, so his son's That's... name is Stormrunner. A mi the Minotaur Barbarian. Perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, oh my god, do we want to get... Do we, do I, oh my god, that's going to be super awkward. Hey! Um, well, like... My dad used to date your mom. Um, come join us. <laughs> like no, no, no. Not actually her. No, I know. I'm like, saying like I'm saying her, her, whatever her son or daughter is like. Yeah, uh, my uh, my dad used to uh, used to bang your mom. So uh, wanna wanna come save the world with us? <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Christ, I'm just throwing this out there. Marikir is with the son or daughter. Oh my god, um, that'd be super theory. fucking awkward. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, like... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to make an interesting story, and having an old flame of Zarn suddenly reappear, and, like, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm guessing, like, like, it depends on what Zarn would want to do, if That's he really would cool. want to, like, stay in contact with her, but more of, like, a, you know... Just like every now and then you see each other, but it's on good terms. There's no, there's no like, there's no awkwardness anymore. Like you talk it out after everything's over with and it's like you move on from it. That's true. You walk away friends. All right. So first off, for everybody in chat who's really fucking confused. Uh, so my character Zarn, um, he had a fiance when he was younger that they were supposed to be married and she ran off. And he ran into her later on and was like, like, what the fuck? Like, why'd you leave? 
and she was like, oh, you know, like, I'm not meant to be tied down, all stuff, like, and, like, he kind of, like, wasn't sure if he loved her or not still. He's obviously moved on. Actually, and actually, John, I think, I think they, they did leave on pretty good terms. Um, I mean, if I remember they, they correctly. Left on, they left on decent terms. Yeah. I feel I feel like if I if I remember correctly, there was still a little bit of like clashing, not like to the extent there was when they first like remet each other, but there was still a little bit of like hesitancy. Oh yeah, Zarn, so that's why Zarn didn't want to get anywhere near her because Zarn was terrified of seeing her again. But then I remember yeah. from what from what I remember, I think they when they met, he stayed back to talk to her, and like he almost wanted to get back with her, but then like he remembered like because he had already met Sonnet. So I think he said, like, listen, like, everything's fine. Like, I've moved on. So I think they left on pretty good terms. But either either way, that would be fucking hilarious if, like, Merrick here's like, hey, Uncle Zarin, this is my new, uh, this is my new girlfriend. It's like, oh, here's her mom. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it would be, I feel like it would be more of, like, a holy shit. But at the same time, like, you're not, Zarin wouldn't be mad about it. No, he wouldn't. You know, there'd be, there'd be no, like, no, I forbid this. It'd just be more of, like, Right. That's a twist I didn't see coming, but all right. All right, so this person's definitely going to be a rogue then. I mean, also, would uh, they be uh, a purifier Genasi? What would the parent? What would the other parent be? Would the other parent be in the picture? You oh, know, absolutely not. From what I know, from what I've imagined the that character as, I imagine she probably she hooked up with someone. Got pregnant and was like, man, yeah, fuck it, I'll keep it. And, like, just didn't even tell the other person about it. Okay. So then you'd have to figure out what would the other race be. That's true. Um, well, I mean, because would it be another fire genasi? Would it be water earth genasi? Human, half elf, elf, dwarf, halfling, tiefling? Ooh, a tiefling would be interesting. I feel like human. I may have to make that character. Human, half, half human. Tiefling. Half-fire genasi? Half-fire genasi. There we go. Alright, cool. Um, Alright. Ray, so, Raynon, and then her other, her other name. Well, so, what would be her, like... No, that's fine. Ray... Well, yeah, yeah, cause that's cause, yeah. Shut up. No, because um, <laughs> no, because Fury's real name is Yan Ray, and um. Yeah, I know. I have that written down. Yeah, and he uh, she always goes by Yan, so I feel like she would want to keep her name in there somewhere. So like, just make that Raynon. Ray. Yeah, I think we I think we got our fucking characters. I think we're good. That's funny as shit, actually. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Zorn, here's my new girlfriend. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like even before he actually, like, met uh, Cinder again, it would be more of like, it's like, hey, you know, it's like, I got a girlfriend. Oh, cool. What's your name? Uh, Ray. You know, and it's like, really? You know, and then, like, <laughs> you meet her for the first time, and it's like, Ray? Fire Genasi. Shit. Huh. No, well, no, because you'd have to figure out would Zarn realize that right away. Or he would, would not. Just he's fuck, be... he's so dumb. He's so yeah. So dumb. he just kind of he'd just be sitting there like, yeah, 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 it's, it's fine. You know, like you know, it's like really. I had a I once had a girlfriend named Yan Ray, and she was a Fire Genasi. And then you know, Ray could be like, oh, that's my mother. And then you just sit there like, uh... <laughs> like the anime, like duh, the face just drops. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so sort of like uh, I know they do it in a lot of animation things where once he realizes it, it it's almost like there's like it's like a picture in glass where it's just like the entire picture just shatters. And like, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right, so we got so Merrick here's the brains, Ryder's the magic one, the wild card, Chrysella's athlete is the athletic one, um, Stormrunner's the brawn, Ray is the sneaky one. I like it. I think we got a pretty good pretty good uh, team comp here. We've got full magic. We've got full full uh, tank. We've got the rogue. We've got ranged, and we've got like DPS with uh, Merrick here. Yep. Nice. I'm happy with what we got so far, actually. 
Same. <laughs> I like the way it's working out. Oh, and there's the text. Okay, so I guess the concert got over earlier than I thought it would. All right, so on that note, guys, I will get going because I have to go pick up my girlfriend from her concert, which is super annoying because I said, who goes to a concert on a goddamn Sunday? <laughs> Whatever. Apparently Katie does. Oh, my God, this is frustrating. All right, so to everyone who watched, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to... Uh, come by again follow me on twitter uh at my twitter handle which i'll put that in the chat right now Boop. okay and also my discord if you want to join that get more uh god damn it john yeah uh if you want to join my discord my discord gives you up-to-date things about when i'm streaming also i do a lot of stuff i kind of talk back and forth with people in there if you have any ideas you want to bounce off that's the place to do it so uh for all those watching this on YouTube, because I probably will upload this to YouTube, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that cool YouTube stuff. Other than that, um, for those watching on Twitch, I do have a YouTube channel, which, um, do I have a YouTube thing on here? I forget. I don't think we have a command for that one. I thought I did. Give me a second. Give me a second! Nope. Okay. By the way, I told Snicket that if she wanted to come in and watch, she could, but now we're ending. Damn it! Um... Were we going to do a, like do another thing like this tonight? Or is this like, we're done for the night? Probably done for the night, because I got to go pick up uh, Katie. But you know what? I Maybe, um... Maybe. Because, like, I, I'm literally free all night. So if you get home and you're like, I want to do more, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, damn it, I don't have a YouTube thing. All right, so let me, um... I will post this right now in the uh, chat to do my... All right, there we go. That's my that's my YouTube thing. Uh, so if you want to check my channel there, we, which you can also find all the videos of the current Galatea campaign, where these characters are based off of, basically, uh, and kind of get speed from there. So uh, until then, guys, I really appreciate you guys coming by to hang out. Uh, you guys have all been a wonderful audience. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.